your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. We thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day, another chance, another opportunity to exist in his presence. There are so many people who would want to be where you are, to feel the way you know you feel, but that opportunity is not given to them. This is why you need to be happy and joyful that you can walk, you can do everything through Christ who strengthens you. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of Matthew 15. I want to continue with the message I shared with you on Sunday. Apply your faith to the power of God. The power of God is real. The power of God is what? It's real. If you know problems are real, sickness are real, then God Almighty is more real than what we are going through. It is only my faith. You know, I told you on Sunday that the power of God does not understand the language of you. When I say the language, I mean when you are complaining, when you are crying. It is only faith that can call the power of God. And don't forget that. Even at the point of where you see that my faith is at work, you receive, you know, frustration, intimidation, People will be there to demoralize you. Maybe will reject you. But as long as there is faith in your heart, you will not mind what you are going through. You will not mind what people are saying. Your focus is on Jesus, the hope of life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because of time, Matthew 15, verse 21. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyler and Zidon. 22. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demonic possessed and suffering terribly. 23. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and huge him, send her away for she keeps crying out after us. This is the person who is crying not for money, not to be, you know, or part of the, the team, but just for Jesus to solve the problem that my daughter is demon possessed. And the disciples told Jesus to say, send this woman away. She has been following us and crying. In short, they were telling me that this woman is making noise. This woman is what? Making noise. In 24, he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Full stop. Telling the woman to say, I was not sent to you. Meaning I cannot solve your problem. Because the one who sent me did not tell me that you go and pray for this woman. No. I was sent for the lordship of who? Israel. And this is the man that you knew that this man, you know, is a miracle worker. When this man appeared, my problem is over. Put yourself in the shoes of this woman. 
if it is you with that problem and you receive such kind of you know answer or reception a hostile one where you expect everyone to say ah sorry 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 master her daughter is demon possessed the people are supposed to stand with you and help you to reach their master they are the ones who are now encouraging their master to say send this woman away and the master now answered I was sent only to the lordship of Israel Listen to the human of faith. This is where you know that, yes, I am a child of God. I don't move by sight. I move by what? Faith. Where they are frustrating you, where they are intimidating you, you don't feel like there is anyone intimidating. It's like they are encouraging you. He replied, this is now the woman in 25. The woman came and kneeled before him. Lord, help me, she said. Jesus answered the woman in 26. It is not right to take the children's blood and toast it to the dogs. Take note of that statement. You as a human being, they replaced with the name dog. It is not right to take the bread that belongs to the children of God and give it to dogs. Are you there? What would be your response? If it is you and you know that you are in problem, you are disturbed, the situation is bad, and this is the answer that you are receiving to the people who are supposed to show you know that kindness towards your problem. And then they are telling you this. They laid Newt down before Jesus. Help me. Jesus said it is not right to take the blood, I mean the children's blood, and give it to the dogs. Who is the dog? Is there any dog around Jesus at that particular time? Is he not a human being? Now who is the dog? This is the question I'm asking you. Don't forget that even when you are getting closer to your victory, there must be one or two to frustrate you. Even if, when faith is at work in you, there must be one or two to disfocus you. And if you are not careful, you will pay attention to those things. There you lose it all. And Satan will be dancing. Faith is not the language that comes from human beings. It is the word that came from God Almighty. Faith means what? You believe in him. You trust him. It is only him who can do what no man you know, can do for you. And what is impossible to your money, to your family, to anything, it will be possible through your faith. This is why this lady could not pay attention to that language even to the point where they call a dog. No, what's the church? I remember one day, years back, can I say this? Something happened inside the church. Before I entered the church. And one one woman left the church because the chair was broken and she became annoyed. People tried to say, please, it's, you know, these chairs, they are like this. These are plastic. No, 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 no. Please leave me. She entered the vehicle. Oh! Then my people came to turn to say, ah, something happened inside the church. I said, what is it? Hmm? This chair, <laughs> uh, you know, bring down this woman. You know, when you feel like, uh, uh, anyway, let me not go there. But I'm just trying to bring you closer to the message. When you face this hostile, you know, treatment or reception, bear it in mind that something good is on the way, getting closer to you. If you pay attention to what you are facing, you are missing the target. Listen to this woman, the way she answered Jesus. When Jesus said, 
It is not right to take the children's blood and toss it to the dogs. The woman answered Jesus, yes, it is, yes, it is Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the clambers that fell from the master's what? Table. This is the answer from our Savior. Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your requests, you can conclude that one. Even dogs does what? What is falling from your master's table as a dog? You eat it. You cannot eat with uh, your master on the same plate. You wait for something to go down and then you, you take it. You swallow it. Your master is eating. At Nembo and Ashoshi, ne? She had your to pon a quick table or Yaba wish. Jesus, I've never seen a great faith like this one. Where you are frustrated, where you are intimidated, where you are facing rejection. And then you know that folk we are, what does it mean? That faith was beyond whatever you may think about. Beyond the respect of that woman has in the society. She did not mind who is listening and who is watching. Her point was to demand that Jesus must heal my, my daughter. I mean to apply her faith. She put a demand on the power of God to say, whether you call me this name or what, I know you. I know you can do that. You can deliver my daughter. Even if you say you are an idiot, I know you that it is only you can deliver my what? My, you can beat me in, in South. I will not leave you until you heal me. Because I know that you are the only healer. Why must you allow your situation to mislead you? Why must you allow what people are saying to mislead you. Faith always demanded the impossible to be possible. Even when you see that nothing is moving forward, inside your heart, you see things moving what? Forward. Because faith does not operate through the eyes. No. These eyes can mislead you. Faith always demands what? The impossible to be possible. When you see situation is bad, People are saying it is finished. This problem, uh, especially when it comes to disease or sickness. Others will be telling you that this is what killed your uncle. This is what killed your grandfather. This is what killed our neighbor. Ah. Anyway, ah, ah. Your faith inside you say no. Yes. This is what killed that one, but this one cannot kill faith in me. If your problem cannot kill your faith, then the problem cannot kill your life as well. If you allow your problem to kill your faith, then you are dead. If you allow poverty to kill your faith, then poverty will enter your children and your grandchildren. No matter what, faith always demanded the impossible to be what? Possible. You are sick and the situation is bad. Your body is paining. What type of prayer can you offer? What type of prayer can you offer? You are sick. You feel pain all over. The, you know, the, 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 the children of God will come and say, eh, you know, like we are good in that one. When we enter a house, ah, we are good. And then, you are sick. And then, you are sick. And then, you are sick. And then, what type of prayer can you offer in such a way? They are afraid for you, encourage you, coded the scripture, and then the pain is still there. Of course, the prayer will not be like, thank you, Jesus. The prayer will start with why. Why is immediately? Why, Lord? The children of God came here. They prayed for me. I even touched the screen. Uh, I saw someone was testifying that I just, you know, touched the screen and the man of God was praying. Then I get healed. Why is it my case is, is now, what have I done? You see, such kind of prayer is now on the way. You see, such kind of prayer is now on the way. Have been praying. 
have encountered this. Mwelesa, finish na chita. Are you praying or you are reporting your case to your enemy? We had the confession of our sister on Sunday where the evil spirit was saying, when she, you know she's complaining, then we feel good. We increase the pain. If you look at the situation of this woman, she did not pay attention to what was saying. She knew that this man is the healer. This man is the only one who can solve my problem. Faith is not, you know, uh, the way you think. No. Faith always works for something which is impossible with human capacity. What is impossible to human capacity or thinking, that's where you need to apply faith. Where money cannot work, apply faith. Where your uncle, whoever is there, if he's a minister, a police officer, a lawyer or what, where they cannot solve that problem, apply what? Faith. They can risk money to help you, to take you anywhere, or to pay whoever wants money, but the situation is there. They are, know that faith is what is needed here. If you know you start saying, ah, you are under the trap of your enemy. Faith, it's Ikumbi yodi amoneka. Seventeen thirty amboklo kana chime basha. That is faith. In salala tuipa pano panganda tapari nanguchimo. A woman of faith, a man of faith, who will not listen to that confession. If you confess like that, you are a failure. You just say to lady. Just know that we are going to eat. God is on the throne. Niwa nani mucheteke dawa lempe lempi. Ah, niwa nani na cheteke yoku ndeta pachalo. Na risiwa tinge sa pachalo. That is faith. Were you aware that you be born here on earth? No. You came to this life by faith. Balandro na watu ebati. Pamande fe pamande pena. Akesa sokola TV. Tu kwa pela. Mande kwa lepa no kulepa. Mande kwa chitashani. Elo ni chitapari. Tapari no uishi wa winga kupela. Tapari na cho winga. Tapari no kwa bomba. Na mula nda na lesa. Muka tikamu. Iche teke lo chita contact nani? Lesa. Before the ula landa no muntu uli onse kunse. Iche teke lo di onse chilanda na lesa. Elo lesa kweba the way out. You may not see money there, but faith is telling you that money is on the way coming. You don't even know where that money is coming from. But the word is already given to you inside your heart that money is on the way. That is faith. Not where you hear someone promise you money. <laughs> money is on the way. Money is on the way. Money is on the way. No, kututumamule, tutumatika, tushinga bala leta. Katushinga bala leta. Where faith is active. No kulaba kutu wala wakwa tinao kwa ta problem. Before haba problem, tabala isa, haba kusofa problem, weba chashani, eba isa. Elo nombwa yukusha, tuwa ndina problem. Apply your faith to the power of God. The power of God is real. There is no problem Jesus cannot handle. There is no situation Jesus cannot handle. The problem is that we move by sight what you are going through, what you see, what you hear. Look at the situation of this woman. To the extent whereby they even call her a dog. Can you accept you to be called a dog? Ah, you know what happened? 
tatule sumi ni shemu kwa kuingila tulefuwa fesi hawa na wakualesa vengile ah 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 muke sabo pano pachechi kuti mwaingila napo na imwe kukonkluda ati nenga ndi mbwa ni nchibuwa nse pano ni nchi ni mbwa mwamba no kuya faith is not your feelings no faith is not what you see but what you believe and trust your feelings can mislead you your feelings can interpret the situation wrongly jesus was talking in parable a woman of faith understand the language of jesus not through these ears but through her faith that's why jesus said human i mean you human you have got what a great faith but for you your feelings are always misleading your faith you can say I've got faith in God when things are, are okay. Everyone is appreciating you. Everyone is organizing you. But where you are facing rejection, eh, faith is no longer in you. That's why the way to punisha ya isa nombati. Na chia fe wino kuchia ichi baya mpunisha. Tapali chongu fuide. Na chingila fe mchia ichi na saa mwana di dee ule di abalu mebandi. Apope nena fumana mpresenzi ya kwa lesa. Where is your faith? Instead of saying, oh, Father, thank you, this prostitute is, is here. Deliver her now. You are disturbed. Na chingila fi mchechi na samu na uri ya kolo na nkwa ingila. Apo pene na fumana mpresence ya kwa lesa. You are not a woman or a man of faith. You move by sight, not by faith. Faith is not your feelings. Or you're thinking the way you think about your situation. Even your thinking most of the time can mislead you. Faith is always focusing on God, not any other person. So apply your faith to who? To the power. Once you do that, when Jesus says yes, no one can say no. Abadi won't say to Alan that Yahweh tafia won't be tafia chitike. Jesus nalan that it is. Yes. So apply your faith to the power of God. No tamwaka fiale, fiali lubana, fiali venshi. Apply your faith. Look at Anna. She never consulted anyone apart from applying her faith. To the extent whereby even the man of God said, Anna, now call her. She said, No, Master. I'm just praying to God. And the Spirit of God ministered now to the man of God to, to tell Anna to say, God has answered your prayer. That was faith. Ule pepele wako ati na ukoro wa lutu kutu wa utu wa asuka shati. Uli muche ichi. I'm talking to you people of God. You are praying and you know for sure that I'm here to pray. And then the man of God approach you and say, you are under the influence of alcohol. What are you doing here? Nga na mkoro wa wala mwela ikala kumaya nda mwela leto mungulu pano. Kuti mwa mfashari. But because this humani was applying her faith. She did not pay attention to what was coming out. So apply your faith to the power of God. Jesus is the healer. There is no man here who can deceive you that I can heal you. It is only Jesus. Are you there? So apply your what? To your situation. Apply your what? Uh -huh. So that you engage the Holy Spirit. And if you don't know, when you apply faith, you are calling the power of God. When you are shouting on top of your voice, like for example, we stand here and start praying, fire in the name of Jesus, fire in the name. It doesn't mean that fire is coming down. It is your voice. It is just a sound. Someone is there without even opening their mouth. Applying faith to the power of God, fire is coming down. You are going to sweat all over your body without any answer from God. Someone is there quietly but inside faith is talking talking to the holy spirit and power will be released according to the faith thank you god bless you